Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Hump Day, everyone. Before we get to the charts here, I do want to remind you we are hosting live training next week at pivotbossmasters.com forward slash profits. You can learn more. Go to pivotboss.com forward slash profits here, and you'll see the live training schedule that we have coming up. This is for Pivot Boss Masters members. So if you're a member of Pivot Boss Masters, this training is absolutely included with your membership at no additional cost. If you are not a Pivot Boss Masters member, there's no better time to join than right now. We have great tools coming out to you next week, and we will be focusing on the Camarilla equation. We have a Camarilla Pivots uh, indicator and signals indicator, which will help us find and trade high quality opportunities in all time frames no matter what style trader you are the schedules here all of these will be recorded and posted as usual and we have a huge database of videos going back multiple years uh, over 10 years now 12 years of videos here that we've done along the way all future sessions uh, and live training all future on demand training all included with your masters membership and it's a complete 30-day 100% money-back guarantee as well. So again, go to pivotboss uh, pivotbossmasters.com forward slash profits to learn more and gain instant access if you are not already a Masters member. All right, taking a look here at the ES in the daily time frame, you'll see uh, the previous session we had a narrow range day after heavy selling pressure, big-time breakdown, this is the first major structural breakdown we've seen in the ES uh, so far this year. Uh, we fell a, a hair here on Monday, but Tuesday really, uh, rather on Friday, Monday really opened it up. Tuesday, a little bit of a holding pattern. And right now, inside day, as we head into uh, Wednesday's RTH session, overall, this market is working its way down, and uh, we have structurally broken to the downside here for the most part and any bounce any pullback could be seen as a selling opportunity right now so even if we were to rally here today it could be seen as a selling opportunity on a swing basis uh, for today's market keep an eye on the previous sessions high if price pushes above the previous sessions high that could offer a an opportunity to trap any bullish uh, par participants for a shot at a outside day down an outside day down, perhaps even more selling pressure beyond that. We have a super narrow range here, and it could develop into a two-day narrow range, but for the most part, a downward bias in this market. Any pullback up here could be a trap for an outside day down and a continuation ahead. We take a look here at the NQ. Similar price action in the NQ here. Uh, the previous session here, was the first major structural uh, breakdown here on that Monday. Tuesday again was more of a digestive day, very narrow range price action today, similar price action as well. So we have a two day narrow range that's developed here. Not quite an inside day, a little bit of a failed low. It could go outside day up into 18K. If we do see prices above 18K, 18, 0, 25, something in that area that could offer an opportunity to trap and bring it back down again this market's working on on its way down at the moment and uh, any strength could still be a big time selling opportunity we've seen it multiple times even this month high range day up ultimately coming back nice rejection day ultimately down huge rally day and a big time reversal and then we finally gave way and broke to the downside sitting on top the previous uh, months low right here also year-to-date VWAP right there so if we do break down another leg it opens up the previous quarters mid and starts to work our way down toward the next major support levels below this market right here again could be looking at uh, quite a correction up ahead if uh, these levels right here at around 17800 are taken out so again, that's the key level to watch in case of a downside break. But watch 18K up here for a shot of a trap and reverse to the downside. Looking at crude oil, crude has uh, continued to remain within the range here. Uh, the previous 
failed new low here really hasn't garnered a lot in the way of upside price action instead it's mostly stayed within range we have now uh, perhaps a 10 day narrow range let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 days narrow now and uh, as we continue to build out the narrow range with more and more days uh, more and more fuel is being added to, to the potential breakout move so instead of a a six or seven point move now we could be looking at eight points of movement once we do get a breakout does it have to be to the upside no it doesn't but right now we are in a very bullish phase especially in terms of seasonality that usually takes us higher into the June July time frame uh, also geopolitical events around the world here also leading to higher crude prices as well so even if we were to, to drop down, the idea would be to watch for a reverse and a continuation to the upside, uh, unless we get some true uh, breakdown event. But right now, uh, any pullback could still be seen as a buying opportunity. Any retest in this 83 zone could still provide an opportunity to bounce this thing. But what we're looking for is eventually a strong breakout move. Last time around, it was this day right here as it broke higher and we knew that that was likely leading to more strength we need something similar to that to really show that this thing is starting to move to the upside so still building the range with the potential for a big time upside break down the road uh, gold futures continues to be strong overall right now uh, a perfect doji day after finishing the previous session with a perfect doji day inside day and still working its way higher uh, this market's sitting right at the midpoint of that Friday rejection, and the idea is that we could continue to eat through that tail event and work higher to new highs yet again. 2480 would be the next upside target zone to watch as this market continues to show a very bullish uh, trend at the moment. Uh, not expecting any sort of uh, heavy pullback at the moment, uh, nothing deep at all, not even in the 2250 anymore. This market just doesn't really have the capability to pull back in that fashion. It's just been very, very strong, very bullish overall. Failed new lows with an upward bias. Failed new lows have been very, very powerful. Failed new low here, failed new low there, for example. And those markets, uh, and this market has led to, to higher highs after that. So for the most part, uh, looking for a continuation higher to 2480, which would create the next 400 point market structure range above the recent one below all right lastly looking at the YM here the YM has seen quite a bit of selling pressure especially against the broader market against the ES and the NQ this one has uh, continued to melt down and still has a little bit more until it reaches the previous quarter's low 37,300 is the previous quarter's low 37,250 is the 100% key range target from that key range right there. Uh, again, like the ES and the NQ, if we were to see prices above the previous session's high, that could offer a trap opportunity for an outside day down and a continuation as this thing works its way down toward that 37,250 to 37,300 zone. Still working lower. Even if we had one big day up, one big day up, it's still an opportunity to fade and continue downward. That's been the trend of this month, and it's giving back all of Q1 gains already. Uh, it's nearly there. Probably 80% of the gains have been taken back here as this market continues to work its way toward that lower support zone. So, again, very bearish, and if we do see prices above the previous session's high, it could be a trap and reverse event. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops here heading into the rest of the session. Be sure to go to pivotbossmasters.com forward slash profits for more information regarding next week's high-quality training regarding the Camarilla Pivots. Take care, and I'll see you in the trading room.